And we're back, fellow knife and outdoor gear enthusiasts. See and jewel, just jewel, getting down with the newest knives from your favorite brands like CGRB and Tor, Sog and Kaiser, Vanguard and, and Finch. Oh, it was your and. It was my and. Just jewel. Start us off. Sure thing. So the first knife on the table this week is the CJRB Shale. So fully open, this carry is. 7.13 inches with a 3.15 inch AR RPM 9 recurve drop point blade, which comes in both stone wash right there and black PVD coating, all depending on the version you go with. Blade is deployed with either the dual sided thumb studs or with the crossbar lock. Yep, that's always. Blade is also disengaged with the. Hold on. <laughs> crossbar lock. And then disengage. You're yeah, really you're working gonna... me today. Here. Blade also has a flat ground single plane edge, jimping. There are three options, OD green, black, red, and blue, orange, or teal, orange, or light blue, teal, orange, I'm not sure. Yep, so we have the last two. I'm having difficulties today. It disengages, though. Handle scales RG10 and show off a lanyard hole and a tip-up reversible pocket clip. So these budget-friendly flipper folders are only $46.95 from a land knife .com. Mm -hmm. so there's yours, yep. So I really like the design of this knife. Everything is very well thought out in terms of the ergonomics of the handle. The blade is sharp and was given jimping in just the right area. And it's even cut a little lower so you can get an even better grip. Exactly. Thank you. Uh, I like Ooh, the options. Stops where you let the button off. Yep. Uh, a little odd, but cool. I mean, the opening is great. And I appreciate that CGRB gave us another opening option. Maybe they should try to pass this on to their higher tier brand. Like Artisan? I don't know. Just a suggestion. Uh, in short, I think this is a very excellent blade, no matter what your budget is. I buy this for myself or give it as a gift. See? What do you think? I would say the exact same thing. I mean, it's very nicely done. Everybody likes crossbar lock now. Multiple opening options. Can't beat that. Pocket clips a little. Eh. You know. I like this one. That one is nice. Just black. Looks, looks great. But it, it blends in well with those... Uh, well, I won't say what colors those are. Of some NFL team some. that people are familiar with. Is that Dolphins? It would be. <laughs> uh, this would be like your Bulls. Oh. Yeah, well, that's not... Joe Crispy's a Dolphin fan even though he doesn't live in Florida. He has the gloves. He does. That's all that matters. He has the gloves. Alrighty. So, let's move on. Okay. Ready? Yep. Look at the newest version of the SOG Tech Bowie. This fixed carry nice. is now offered in stone wash option. Yeah. Got some changes there, don't we? It's 11 inches overall, 6.4 inch OS 8 clip point blade. Blade is a quarter inch thick, hollow grind, single plane edge, stone wash finish, and comes to about 57, 58 on the RC scale. Yep. Is that like the remote control car scale? It is just like it. And wow. I keep you, you keep trying to like hide it, but you should just you should just I haven't done it yet. Uh-huh. There. I will let you know. Handle is tactile craton rubber with interspaced white washers. Also comes with a black Kydex sheath. There you go. And was made in Taiwan. So with this unmistakable SOG look, one can't help but marvel. You can find the newest version of the SOG Tech Bowie for only $139.95 from alandknife.com. Can't beat that. All right, so SOG makes Can't wonderful fixed blades. Uh, this one's very thick. I like that also. OS8, that's decent for uh It's good for everybody for fixed years. Blade. Yep, Just it works. Saying. Well, that was more folding knives. Uh, um, I think it'd be fine. It'd be pretty easy to sharpen, so you'll probably need to do that. Uh, the handle. Don't you hate. I don't know. Don't I'm not you really. Uh, you know what bothers you about the handle? Don't even. The logo. My finger fits there, and it see how it it'll slip a little bit where the other textured it won't. But other than that, wow. this thing is uh, pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Dent the table you know we could use it as a um, brand. Just be like, oh, you know, just brand the table. Hmm. I think the table has been branded enough. Mm -hmm. So I think this personally, I think this fixed blade is great for outdoor enthusiasts or an everyday carry. I feel like it always has been and always will be. I like the new version I simply because I think it's easier to spot and I think it makes it look awesome. I love the stone wash look on this. I'd put some like glow in the dark paracord on this baby and voila. Um, I will say that it's not really meant for 
throwing knives or chopping. Mm. It will do the chopping because I've seen the chopping. But uh, now battening, it's great at that. But chopping, n not so much. Uh, it looks very similar to like the Sog Trident and the Trident Two, and those were very popular, very, very, very popular actually. I really I like the choils on the handle, the ergonomics of it. I think they're fantastic, and I think the grip is good. I don't I don't agree with your okay your logo. You don't thing, have to but, agree. That's, we can agree to disagree. And it's very light, too, considering okay. how big it is. Alice? Comes. Alice. <laughs> One of these days. So, all right, next is the latest Kaiser Assassin, now showing off the clutch lock. See? Go Can't ahead. beat that. Three new options. Mm -hmm. Want to know what they are? I don't know. No, you don't get to know until so, later. So, open these folders are 7.19 inch with a 2.99 inch Nitro V steel drop point blade. Hmm. Can be open with either dual side thumb studs or the clutch lock. Blade is then closed or disengaged with the clutch lock. Yeah. Handle options range from yellow PEI to denim micarta to silver black G10 with a carbon fiber mixed in. We have the PEI model here to show you. Yep, so each of these has a built-in backspacer slash liner hole, deep carry, tip-up reversible pocket clip, and was designed by Carlos Elsner. Hmm. Yep. Each also shows off a satin finish and comes with the infamous cleaning cloth. Yeah. Get a budget-friendly ass ass in. Just $69 from AtlanticKnife.com. That's great. So... I love the Assassin. Uh, I thought it was a great button lock, and I think it's just as beast with the clutch lock. It's awesome. Options are different, which is nice. You know, Denim Macarta, this s small frag Ultim they have on here, and then obviously the G10. Yes, exactly. Categories with me. The carbon fiber G10 yeah, mix is amazing. Here. Yeah, so, and another plus, they're just $69. Okay, mm -hmm. come on. I do miss the flipper tab, but the, opening, uh, the opening options work very well, so mm. I really don't have any complaints on that. Wow. It's great. It's I'm, going, I'm going to have brought my umbrella for nothing this week. Um, I've always liked the Assassin. Mm -hmm. Each model, even the... Uh, the original titanium one that wasn't look, doesn't look anything like that? Yeah, it doesn't look anything like that. I know. I think it's just the name that appeals to me. But, as you can tell, compared to the last one, it is a little bit smoother, as well as makes a nice ting. tinging sound, which is very important to me. I like the ting. I want you to know that I've brought my life out. Everybody can see it. Um, other than that, I don't think I would ever use a thumb stud. I might. Uh, it is pretty easy to use. A lot of times they're difficult, so that's we pretty easy. Flip it. Yeah, flip I know. It good. Isn't that luck? Like I knew that was going to happen. But I am starting to like the PEI. Uh, a little more. What about the frag? Frag doesn't bother me. I don't like when you frag titanium. Oh, so frag PEI is okay. Or aluminum. Aluminum should be smooth. Titanium should be smooth. I don't agree. It's okay to do it on G10, you know, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's okay with me. Alrighty. Alright. Go ahead. Is it my turn again? It is. It is your turn again. Oh, wow. And like that, we've got plenty more knives where those came from. But first, make sure to hit those like, share, comment, and subscribe buttons, as well as ring a ding ding that bell. Not only will you be linked to your favorite knife and outdoor gear source person and notified when we drop new content, but you'll also be automatically entered into our giveaways. Yep, so last week to get entered for that, we'll be announcing a winner for our dreadfully amazing daggers giveaway, or dad G for short, next week. So you can enter here, the past couple of episodes where we ran this giveaway, Become an official AK member via the link down below and or answer the AK trivia question. Link for that is down below That's too. important to her. Yeah. There are so many ways to enter. You can enter several times and just increase your odds. Who knows? You might get your hands on a free Spartan Blades George Raider Dagger. Nice. Impressive. It is. Tops Asbo Express. Sabo. Sabo. Yeah. Z silent. The Z is silent. So is the S. Has dual leech dagger for that too. It's Abo. Or the Jason Perry Little Alien push dagger. Look at him. Look. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay. Wow. I know. All right. 
All right. Hold on. They should enter. So, enter now. It's free. You give an email, you're entered. You leave a comment, you're entered. You answer the AK trivia question, you're entered. We don't charge a fee, bind you in eternal arbitration, or rumple stiltskin it and require your firstborn. We just mm -hmm. don't roll like that. No. You slide the Z, C, a C note, you win. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I just want to mention. Go ahead and tell me what you're going to do. Now it's me? Yeah. Okay. Um, we have special bloopers this week. Mm. Um, Ja Crispy does the five minute ja Crispy reviews and he has his own outtakes and we figure since he's he humors them, us recording he them, can humor you we, we have to use them so yeah. instead of putting them at the end of the five minute reviews we're putting them at the end of this week's video and the best part he doesn't know <laughs> that's not the yeah that's mm -hmm. probably the best part it is isn't it it is all right he's gonna hate ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> But we're going to roll on to the next knife, and that is the Tor Spectre R. Nice. Which we're guessing R stands for ringed. Yeah, that's what we're going with. Yeah, why it not? It makes sense. Yeah, so there are a few variations of this knife, some with a karambit finger ring, like the R's, and some without. We have one with, obviously. So the Spectre R is 9.25 inches overall with a 4.25 inch M4 steel blade that features KG gun coat finish. <laughs> I have a problem with this. I noticed. Time. KG gun coat finish. 0 0.1875 inch thickness, dual edge, and comes to about 5961 on the Rockwell. On the Rockwell on scale. On the Rockwell. Yeah. It weighs just six and a half ounce and comes with a duo tone. Yep. Not a Tommy two tone. Not a Tommy Kydex tone. sheath with easy retention adjustability and multiple friction offsets. Multiple. Wow. They're inside the yeah. sheath. They're in there. So they eliminate the infamous shimmy or blade rattle. Yeah, because no one likes blade rattle. Only shake, rattle, and roll. There it is. So this fixed carry is ideal for any grip, traditional or reverse, which I guess I guess I can show some there, although little girl hands, so not accurate. And because of the karambit ring, you not only get a slightly larger handle, but you can achieve a quicker deployment out of the sheet. Lastly, it comes in phantom gray, as seen here. Or SOCOM Black. SOCOM Black. SOCOM. Made in the USA. This covert double-edged tool is sure to find its way into someone's heart. Hopefully not literally. Mm -hmm. Find it for just $350 from Alanknife.com. Mm -hmm. So I really like this knife. It's light. It's balanced. It's well-made. I love the dual-edged dagger blade. Obviously, I'm a sucker for dual-edged dagger blades, hence the giveaway. However, I'm not a huge fan of the price tag, Tor, but Tor has always kind of been up there in price, and when you go USA Made and M4, the price is never truly pretty, so, I mean, would it, would, I don't, I don't know. So, I've seen a few Bark Rivers fixed blades that have this steel, and then, like, there's a Spyderco Tenacia that has M4, and they're around 190, between 190 and 300, so... 350 is a little high, but at that price range, what's $50, honestly? Overall, the knife is outstanding, and it's awesome. See, go ahead. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. The meteorologist called for rain, and you I get rain, my I friend. I didn't make any rain. I said the <laughs> knife was awesome. It is. I noticed that I've had some cuts on my fingers. I don't yeah. know how I keep getting those. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be from knives, but I have three or four of them. Um, I'm confused. How else are you, are you getting them? You, like... I guess it's probably cardboard or paper or something. Oh. Who knows? Okay. Um, That's not where I was going. I like this little knife. So do I. I mean, it's not really little. That's the first thing. Is it appears little? But, I mean, like you said. I mean, covert. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's covert. It's slim. But it fits your hand nicely either way you want to hold it. Um, and I there's think some it's without a, the ring. So if you really don't like karambit rings, there's a different spectrum. I don't mind the karambit ring. I actually, when you hold it in this manner, I actually like how it works like a uh, mm -hmm. um, like a guard type of like thing? a butt of the but, knife. Where, yeah. Like on a buck where you would find the little uh, I forget what they call it. On the pommel there where, the, where it bends out. Keeps your hand from sliding both directions so you can put force both ways so you can firmly grasp the knife. Um, the sheath shimmy thing that is I like that because now the blade's not going to get scratched when it goes in there or leave those little bits yeah, if you that use you get it, on the it. The blades so. will get scratched. Hey, hey, so. hey, but not in the sheath. <clears throat> not in the sheath. Yeah, no. I've seen so. some where you get For those of you who just uh, scratched in the put sheath. that away, then I That's great. Okay, just go on. Just go I have on. to? 
You know you want to. Go. All right, next. All right. We're hitting the Vanguard Atomic. Several versions, hand counting. Mm -hmm. We have three of them in stock, and we're looking to at the Pearl Bronze. Is that right? Pearl Bronze. And the Samurai Black. So these new folders come in. There you are. I know you want to do it. Yeah. I'm going to have to look at this box. Mm. Look at it. The amazing leather exterior box, each with their own pouch, and you get a little metal spec card. I wasn't sure if it was a Vanguard or like an Omega. Omega? Is that what you're going to go with? I was thinking Rolex, but Omega works too, I guess. Just so. It is. It's, a, it's, it's over the top, but in the best way possible. Nothing keeps time like to sew. <laughs> Nothing sharper than a Vanguard. Mm. All right. I can, I can write for you, Vanguard. You just let me know. All right. I'll so. I'll tell Patrick. <laughs> I have Patrick. Yeah, okay. So, I just got it. Back to you, Bob. Go ahead. Back to me? Yeah, back to you, Bob. 8.25 inches when fully open. This frame lock has a 3.625. Do we need to slide some? Yeah, we might. Hold on one second. Oh, look at there. Just, just pile them in front of me. It's all right. I am. Thanks. Okay. 3.625 Bowler M390 steel po drop point blade comes in different options and finishes. The handle on this one is pearl bronze titanium while the other samurai black also has phantom black. Each has a tip up right carry pocket clip, lanyard hole, backspacer. This color depends on the option of the actual uh, scales. Yeah, so this one has the gold backspacer and pivot cap and then this one's got the black. Just so you know. All right. Blade is open with either the thumb slot which is very thin so I would recommend the Back flipper tab, but there you can you can do it with a thumb slot. Designed by Ivan, whose name I'm Braggots. not gonna. That's all right. That's what you're you going got with. it. Ivan. Yeah. We've met these, him before. These van. I know, but still, these vanguards are the epitome of style, functionality, and collectability. Mm -hmm. You can be a little bit of a snob. Get a Vanguard Atomic for only two ninety from AtlanticKnife.com. Everyone deserves to be a snob once in a while, don't you think? Yes, yes, I do. And if you were gonna do it with a knife, I would do it with this knife. Okay? All right, tell them about the box. The box. Yeah, bring the box back over here. <laughs> look, look at the box. I can't get this over the, the box. This is the only time I get to hold my choice. Oops, of sorry. While she's okay. playing with the box. It's just so nice. It's just so nice. Okay. Um, I, I need to go to the knife now. All right, so the knife. Let's focus on the knife. Oh, Are you sure you're talking about the knife? You hear that thwack? It's got such a great thwack. We all think so. He thinks so too. Okay, so the box over the top, but I love it. I do wish we had like one of the stone wash ones just to show you because those are nice too, but I really like this black option. This is probably my favorite because I feel like the black and the gold just fit the luxury theme we have running here. All quality steel handle material. It opens. It just opens so nice. I love the. You talked about the ting. This thwack. This thwack is nice. Solid frame lock. I really don't have anything. I have say. no complaints of it either. Yeah, it's it's awesome. Want to give it a grade? Oh, solid A plus. It can't beat that. Solid. I a think the same. Plus. Very nice design. Um, he always does a good job, by the way. The pocket clip has that little extra turn on it to make mm -hmm. it line up, uh, not symmetrically, but aesthetically, with the uh, rest of the handle, the knife. I mean, it's, everything about it is. Really nice. Spot so, on. It's on point there. Dude. Can't beat that. All right. Up on the table now is the last knife. <sighs> okay. One both? Yeah. Just pass them over here. There you are. Yeah. Can't beat that. All righty. Newest option of the Finch 1929. So one of Finch's most popular models. It now comes in abalone and <sighs> stag. You got to get them both. Yep. You're going to have to get them both. I might actually get one of these. We're showing off both. See you All right. This folder has a two and a half inch 154 cm stainless clip point blade, flat grind satin finish, 0 0.12 thickness, and single plane edge. The blade is, de the blade is deployed with a jimped back flipper. Mm -hmm. Is jimped correct? Yes. Awesome. Uh, does it have a stud also? Uh, what's, no, just has just jimped. Okay, want to make sure. Yep, that's I hadn't looked correctly. at it. So. Disengage with the bolster frame lock. Uh huh. Handle scales are offered in. Staghorn or abalone, yeah. which is what you'll like. So it's six inches overall and has a tip up right carry titanium pocket clip. Uh, the abalone one has the glow in the dark shield inlay, obviously, and he didn't want to put 
put a hole in the stag. So this one does not have it, just so everybody knows. And I believe the logos are different too. So this one has just the small Finch logo, and I think this one's just the name, just so everybody knows. You know, just a little difference, a little extra detail. Mm -hmm. uh, weighs just 3.1 ounce and was designed by Spencer and Steve over at Finch. These 1929s are, I think, the best ones yet. Dropping to Mar, these Barlow styled pocket carries will be available for only $145. From Atlantlife.com. Yep. All right. Let me see the stag one. Of course. I didn't realize he didn't put the. Uh, Oh, I see. Yeah, I didn't want to mess up the stag. Yeah, well, see, some of them will have nice little cuts in it, and then you'll have to cut, try to cut through that, and then some of them won't. Mm-hmm. It's a yeah, good, I, I think, think it was a good call. I think I like it like this better, too. Very nice. Um, well, we've done the 1929 before. We liked it then. I'm sure we like it now. Um, it's a very nice job. It says pretty thick stag. Look how thick it, it gets towards the end stag. on both sides. That's very, uh, that's very nice. I think he did an excellent job this time. Mm -hmm. I might wait his excellent job every time. I know. Abalone. I get it. Love the Abalone model. I've been wanting to get my hands on Abalone Finch since I missed the Lucky 13. And now, mission accomplished. Ching. So, I love Finch knives. And this one is no exception. It's got a back flipper. It's sharp. This Abalone model has the glow-in-the-dark shield inlay. It's all good. I got stickers and a band-aid just in case. You can't go wrong with a finch, ever. All right, you that was our last like Blade of the Week. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring the YouTube bell. Yeah, that way you're not only connected with Atlanta Knife and notified whenever we release new content, but you're also automatically entered into our giveaway. The Dreadfully Amazing Daggers Giveaway, Dad G, for short. I guess that's like Snoop Dogg. He's a it is. Dad it is G. Like Granddad G. It's coming Granddad. to close. Close. Gonna close. Is it next week? Yeah. Wow. Make sure to get your name in the proverbial hat. Yep. And with that, a cat. I know. I can't help it. What was your favorite knife this week? Oh, favorite knife. Yes. And it's difficult. Wow. Because there's a lot of good knives. You know, when you said that, it is a blind side of me. Like, we've never done this before. <laughs> favorite knife? What are what? you talking about? Um, well, never chosen a favorite. I will go with the Atomic because you're going to go with the Abalone 1929. I am going to go with the Abalone Finch. I think I'm only going to go with this one because so hard to I worked to get these knives. It took me three months. Um, yeah, it's a nice design. I think we have a language barrier when we talk. Uh, he speaks lots of languages, I'm pretty sure, but he, I don't think he quite gets my your English. My Southern English, I Your guess you would call English. it. So you ask a lot of the same questions over and over. I like this one too. If I didn't I have too. if it didn't have the Vanguard and the Finch, I would have went with this one. And then I like this budget assassin a lot. And I liked them all. Yeah, if you see anything under sixty nine bucks, I'd be like, Well, I still can't choose this one or this one. <sighs> I don't know. I like the shell. I didn't like it as much when I first got it. I like them. Um, it's it's starting to uh, I, I like this one though, because I already have one. So, it's kind of hard to pick, because this one's mine. And it's dirty already. I, I used it. How did you do that? I cut a box. That is wrong. I'm sorry. That looked so... like you ran it through tape. That's not cutting a box. Okay, I ran it through tape. Mm. It's sharp. I, I don't have words, man. I've I think been she's just showing off. I've been carrying it since I got it. She'll try to switch those No, on me. this one... So I'm be like, I'm, hey, man, I got one with tape all over. I'm a really? safe... Is it signed just jewel on the back? I, I went through, no offense, but I went through all of them and picked out the best one for me. And then I bought it. So I've been carrying it since. So that's what I've got. Wow. I got paid to spend an hour and a half going through all the Abalone knives. I had to make sure they're quality checked. Well, we know what no you're offense, carrying this Spencer, week. So this Spencer. is what I'm carrying Just this week. Do my due diligence. The resilience. Really? Yeah. So that one doesn't look like it's been run through tape. Do you? No, know look at it. See? You use it? I've used it once or twice, maybe. Mm -hmm. I may have like used it to wow. reach down and pick up something else like this oh. and put it next to this thing and then set it back down gently. Mm. I don't know. Combo edge. Yeah. And then think you were a combo edge type of I'm guy. really not. I still got my rat too. So. Wow. You just had to one-up me. <laughs> a rat one-ups that? No! You have two knives. Wait till I get my. Uh, I only carry. Well, I, I carry two. I don't know what they're going to call it, but there's this like Essie style automatic they're doing. It's going to really? be out real soon. 
All right, we're going to have to look at that because yeah. I like to look at an SC, SC Ottoman. It's a Zancudo. It's the one oh, that... Oh, the Zancudo, uh, yeah. It's not an actual SE. It's SE branded. I got gotcha. you. But it's going to be an automatic, though. So, yeah. yeah. I saw it yesterday. It's pretty nice. Hmm, I'd like to see that. All righty, then, in the words of Porky Pig... Did it, did it, did it. That's all, folks. Mm -hmm. I'm C, and this was... Did it, did it, did it. <laughs> Just piss off, Lou. <laughs> Jewel, just jewel. And we're signing off. Put it at the beginning. Should, should we put, just say, hey, make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video because <clears throat> we got special bloopers this week. Go ahead. From Jacrispy. Or do you want to be like, hey, just want to mention. All right. Hey! We wanted to mention. Are we on? All right, we on? We on? I didn't see the red light. Uh, is it? Is it on? Ready? <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Jim with your crispy video. Today we have another baby back, baby back, baby back ribs, baby back, baby back, baby back ribs, chilies, baby back ribs, chilies, baby back ribs, barbecue sauce.